Okay, you've set up your count sheets. They're all organized, but now you need to actually take inventory. In this tutorial, we'll show you how to print your count sheets, how to enter counts, and how to see your closed inventory numbers. First step, you'll likely want to print your count sheets. You can do that from the count sheets page, or you can print count sheets from the inventories page. If you have more than one count sheet, you can use the drop down to print whichever specific sheet you'd like. When you select a sheet, a PDF copy will be created that you can then print. When you're ready to enter counts, go to the inventories page. Click the enter account button, and then again, pick any count sheet you want to use. In this case, let's suppose you want to enter your bar counts. So you'd select the bar count sheet. Before we go on, one important note. Only one person at a time can be in margin edge on a particular count sheet taking inventory. Make sure only one person has a specific count sheet open at any particular time. However, if you have multiple count sheets, such as a food sheet and a bar sheet, someone can be entering counts in each one of those at the same time. Okay, back to entering your counts. First, you'll be asked to enter the inventory date. Let's assume your counts were done the last day of April. So you would select April 30th. Once you enter the date, you can see the rest of the count sheet. Notice that this page looks a lot like the edit count sheet page, but now there are spaces to enter the counts for each of the products. As you enter each count, the line value is calculated automatically. And at the bottom left, you can see your running inventory total calculated as you go. If you want to find a product, there's a search bar to allow you to search the page. If you need to stop counting, but you're not ready to close your inventory, you can hit save at any time. If you're working on a laptop and you're somewhere that doesn't have an internet connection, like a walk-in or a storage closet, the sheet will automatically save to your computer every few minutes. And as soon as you have a connection again, your counts will save back to the margin edge system. If you go back to the inventories page, you can see any inventory that's in a saved status. Again, saved just means that you're still working on it and has not yet been closed. From the inventories page, you can click on a saved inventory and resume your counting. When you're done entering your counts, hit close. Then on the inventories page, you'll see the status has changed to close. If you click on any closed inventory, you'll be taken to the inventory details page where you can see exactly what was counted, both the previous count, the current count, and the values as well as your category totals. To expand all sections at once, just click the plus sign next to the word category.